Hello and welcome back to another segment of the Rory Harmon Show. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Orange Bloods Texas page. I'm really excited to talk to you today because this last week has been, I don't want to say monumental because you're going to accomplish so much more, but so far you are the Big 12 Freshman of the Week, the National Champion Freshman of the Week. Also, you're still in score against Oklahoma State, landed you on the Sports Center top 10, specifically number nine. Have you even gotten a chance to soak this all in yet? Uh, no, I don't think it's ever going to be soaked in like perfectly. Um, it's still, you know, it still feels like really good to just like have all these accolades and accomplishments, like even just being a freshman in college. But, you know, it's never going to be soaked in. I'm, I'm always going to be on my toes and excited and just blessed and honored to even receive what I received. When you look back on the video, did it look like that in your head? <laughs> or did it look as amazing as it actually was? Um, I'm not going to lie. It was a little bit, it looked easy when I looked at the video. Like, it looked like it was easy, but it really wasn't. <laughs> uh, like, it really wasn't um, as easy as it looked. But, I mean, as soon as it left my hands, I kind of knew already. <laughs> it looked like a mistake that was just, like, too perfect. Like when I saw it live, I was just kind of like, it looked like she slipped. I was like, wait, but wait. And oh, then it went yeah. in and I was just, all right. Well, because when I tipped it, like I deflected it, it was going out of bounds. So I like yeah. saved it first. Didn't take any extra bulls, just took the one, two, and then shot it. <laughs> yeah. <Perfect. laughs> Do you have a pregame ritual? No. <laughs> I mean, not really. I just, I kind of just, no, actually I do. I do listen to music. It could be any music. I don't listen to specific songs or anything, but I'll listen to music, just chill for the game. I mean, I'm usually like pretty focused, you know, but but I do have my moments where I'm like hyped and stuff. So it's it just really depends. Okay. And are you the hype man in the locker room? Mm. I would say I'm the hype man, but I, I do, like, add on to people who do start it, if that makes sense. Who starts it? Uh, I would probably say Joanne. She's she's very energetic. She brings I could have guessed. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and is there a particular significance to you wearing the number that you wear? Oh, that's a good question. Um, That was the first number I was given playing with the – first AAU team I've ever played with who I did play with for nine years so I would say they've that team like just built me into the player I am now mm -hmm. and I've I've worn that with them uh the only time I didn't wear it was in a couple of my last two AAU seasons but I mean that's it just means a lot like when I see number three like and it being on my jersey that's just how I think like those teammates that I have that I still talk to today, they're, they're a couple years older than me, but um, they've really, like, and the coach, of course, they've really, like, just, for, they're the reason why I play the way I, I do. So, mm -hmm. yes, it has a whole lot of significance. Why? <laughs> I want to know, like, what happens when somebody else wants that number? At the same time, you want to, like, when you were first coming in, what do y'all do? Um, It was actually available to me. Um. So that was pretty easy. So, um, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I, if I really wanted a number, I've had it for like so long. So it's almost like given I mean, not, I mean, actually that someone on the A team that I moved to, they had the number three. So I took the number one, which was, I mean, it's not a big deal. Like I can wear another number and still do what I got to do. But um, I mean, if it's already taken, I'm not like going to sit there and try to fight for it. <laughs> but I always wondered about that because, you know, in track, we don't have numbers or anything. Yeah. And we don't have to fight over any of that, luckily. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to you guys, I just know that there's no way you're the only number three the University of Texas recruited, you know, coming in. So when it's time for that to happen, what does everybody do? And then I think I saw it recently with the football players we signed someone and I know he was like number zero in high school and then yeah. he ended up changing his name to like the other 
<laughs> zero because we already really? have number zero. So I was just it's yeah. weird. Sometimes you just gotta take what you get and just start building a legacy behind that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty like happy that I still have number three. <laughs> I understand. I think that's a good thing that track does not do that. Because yeah. I do get caught up on numbers. My favorite number is three. So really? that I was in a position, I wouldn't be the one who backed down because I need <laughs> it at that point. Like I'm superstitious about it. I need this number. I, I need to do this ritual before I play. It's just the way it goes. <laughs> I'm pretty superstitious as well, but like also am that type of person who is completely behind the statement, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. So um, either way, like, if I can't be superstitious about this thing, then I go to that statement and that praise, everything happens for a reason. So it's just, I don't know. I just go with the flow in a way, but yeah. Why are the fans support so important for the future of the team? That, well, any, like, even for the, just the present of the team, any type of, fan support is just going to be important it just brings extra energy like basketball is energy sport like if you feed off each other it's a team sport and mm -hmm. I would say the fans are a part of our team so you know we just that would anytime that you have fans now then in the past it's always going to be important that we have your support and how do you channel your frustration when things aren't going your way in a game what do you do um, as I've gotten older, um, I've learned more about composure as being like a point guard, especially for Coach Afer and at the University of Texas. Uh, there's, I wouldn't say it, there is a lot of pressure, but like my coach always says, you always attack pressure with pressure. Um, so, I mean, I kind of just bring myself to say like, okay, this is, this is a learning moment, teaching moment. I need to see what I can do when things aren't going the way they need to go. Cause I've been in several situations where um, there's been adversity. So I would say I've learned already how to react and it's just keeping my composure. Any new year's resolutions? I had none whatsoever. I had none, but mm -hmm. I would say I have like, I just, I had goals already in the past. Okay. And thought like they're already, they kind of flowed into this year. Um, so I wouldn't say like they're partic particularly like New Year's resolutions, but there mm -hmm. are like goals that I have. <laughs> None, I, yeah. okay, I can definitely relate to that one. I yeah. don't necessarily have anything where it's like starting January 1st, I cut yeah. it out. Nothing I didn't like, like that have... necessarily. Yeah, no, nothing like that. But it has been kind of, I've never really done resolutions before. So this year I'm trying to make things a little bit more intentional. Yeah. So just whatever it might be, I'm like, okay, I wanted to cut that out. Now, since we're in 2022, let me actually do it now. Stop yeah. procrastinating. It's been done. Let's do it. That's yeah. how I feel about it. Yeah, of course. But yeah. it was really, really good to catch up with you. Yeah, I know it was, it was short today. I try to keep it short with you because I know that you face Texas Tech tomorrow. Yes. Mindset yes. going into that game. This is, I guess, a good team. That's, I mean, of course, any team in the Big 12 is going to be like any game is going to be a good game. I would just say we just, it's our home court advantage. Mm -hmm. And so, I, you know, we have our supportive fans, of course, and we just, we haven't lost at a, like at home yet. So that's what we need to do going into this game. Perfect. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Orange Bloods Texas page.